You know, I just want to echo, and I appreciate him um, giving shout out to the staff because really, they really do make the world go round. I grew up in the Central Valley. I remember as a little girl picking grapes to make them to raisins, dropping them on the, you know, paper, and then moved to Northern California um, via Travis and in Solano County, where we're like 62% open space in ag. And so these issues are really near and dear to my heart. But without staff to be able to be there to help us articulate our vision, to help us be in every meeting when we can't be in, we cannot do what's even in our mind to do. And um, I was just fortunate enough to get Mark Ross as my life director, who is an amazing advocate in this space already, just in his own passion. Um, so it really does help me be a champion. I would not be a champion had um, Mark not been a part of my team. So if we can, give another round of applause. everyone you know for this award and also looking at the past recipients including our majority leader um, it's just good to be it's good to be a part of such good company um, especially as a freshman legislator we're both freshman legislators and just the people who've gone before us in this space have been amazing um, I want to take the time though to recognize the work of both our community farmers and our advocates so give yourselves a round of applause in that space <laughs> our small farmers, farmers of color, our farm workers, and our disadvantaged communities in this space should not be an uphill battle, but yet it is. Um, ensuring that all of them have a space at the table, whether it's related to groundwater or climate investments, should not be as difficult as it is. Um, despite the recognition, everyone shares that community farmers are essential to California's way of life. There is still a substantial lack of prioritization when it comes to these communities. And that's why I'm so thankful for a night like this where we can come together. Um, I would also like to take the time to not only thank the hard work that they all put in every day, that you all put in every day, but also to recognize the hard work that every single advocate in our space um, puts in to ensure these communities have a seat at the table. For everyone who was even at the press conference today, to ensure that the message gets out how important it is that we fund these areas. I look forward to working with each and every one of you this legislative session and every legislative session to come as long as the voters will have me, particularly when it comes to these bond negotiations and ensuring all our small farmers are not left behind when it comes to climate investments. We cannot have climate investment without investing in our farmers. Simple as that. Thank you so much.